Hello everybody, this is the Star Shots Guide, and today we're discussing the Miami building collapse. You've probably heard about the collapse of Champion Tower South apartment in Southside, Florida, northern suburbs of Miami on June 24th. First, I want to extend my deepest condolences to the families, the friends, the commu and the communities of those who lost their lives as they mourn this tragic loss. At the time of recording this video, ABC News have reported at least 54 people are dead and 86 people are still unaccounted for after the building had partially collapsed. The building was demolished using building implosion on July 4th before Storm Elsa was set to reach Florida since the building was deemed unstable. Building implosion is the strategic placing of explosive material and time of its detonation so that the structure collapses on itself in a matter of seconds. Questions started immediately after the collapse. How could this happen? Why? And what went wrong? However, these questions will likely take from a few months up to a few years to answer, according to two of American Society of Civil Engineers, ASCE's most prominent forensic structural engineers. Roberto Leon, a professor of construction engineering at Virginia Tech said, I think it is way too early to tell. It's going to require a very careful forensic approach here. What we tend to find in forensic investigation is that three or four things have to happen for a collapse to occur that is so catastrophic. Another ASCE engineer, Glenn Bell, stated, we have to be careful not to speculate too much on the potential causes, but I can say that one of the things I am sure investigators will be focusing on is why after 40 years of standing did the structure collapse apparently without warning. That's pretty extraordinary. And this is exactly the point of this video. I want to caution viewers that there are a lot of speculations going on by the media and even by professional engineers, but it is important to note that the causes for this collapse cannot be determined only by examining some of the evidence. Those causes must be determined using forensic engineering done by professional forensic engineers and should be based on physical evidence and advanced structural analysis computer programs. The US Department of National Institute of Standards and Technology NIST, a federal research laboratory specializing in engineering and other technical areas, announced on June 30th that it would conduct a full technical investigation into the causes of the June 24th partial collapse of the building in Southside, Florida. Independent investigators will also investigate the collapse. One of them is John Pistarino, a longtime structural engineering consultant retained by a lawyer to investigate this collapse. Both teams will collect and study information about the building's design, construction, modification, maintenance, building materials, and soil samples from the site once the site is cleared and turned over. They will reconstruct the building and look at the critical pieces to see if they can figure out how each piece failed and what the significance was. Also, it is important to note that whatever the findings for the investigation would be, they will change the design of buildings forever, just like what happened after 9-11. Structural engineers aim to design buildings that can withstand loads from forces and hazards, such as gravity and weather. Also, engineers routinely update design practices, often in responses to advanced in technology or hard-worn insights from failures. However, nearly all building stock in the US is not newly designed. Champion Tower South, for example, was erected in 1981. These buildings may face roads and other threats that designers at that time did not anticipate, including those linked to climate change. The entire workforce of engineers and construction are following the story very closely as buildings do not fail frequently and engineers need to learn the causes of this failure so they can be avoided in the future. So, 
Determining the causes of the collapse is not the point of this video, as no one conclusively knows why it collapsed and thus we should wait until the entire investigation is done before pointing fingers. I hope I was able to deliver my point and I hope you learned something from this video. See you next time.